Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's topic is, should I withdraw these claims? I clearly see an error. Should I ditch these claims because I already know what's going to happen and I could just uh, save six months of my life and kill these things now and do them right. If you wanna learn more about the VA claims process, check out my bootcamp at combatcraig.com. And if you need medical evidence, hit up my med team. There's an email address in the description. So here's a scenario. A veteran went to the DAV, which is a VSO, Veteran Service Officer, uh, asked questions about a claim that was denied and wanted to file a supplemental claim. So the rep um, said, yeah, 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 you just need to file a supplemental claim. And um, she just submitted uh two supplemental claims. With a supplemental claim, you need to submit new and relevant evidence to support your theory why your claim was denied. So if you're missing the nexus or the diagnosis, you submit either a diagnosis or a nexus or both, and, and then you submit the supplemental claim. In this particular case, the VSO just decided to submit the supplemental claims and not provide the new and relevant evidence. Like it said clearly on the decision letter, no nexus. And then the uh, DAV just decided to, you know, not say go get the nexus and just decided to throw things up against the wall. So why was this even done? Why would a VSO file a supplemental claim without adding the actual evidence you need? Good question. I think it's because they don't care. That's why I don't like VSOs. And that's why I'm going to handle all my claims on my own. And uh, you guys need to uh, get on board with that as well. You are always going to be your own best advocate. Like, you know, maybe the VSO is like, well, we'll throw things up against the wall. Or, ooh, I see that the veteran needs a nexus. And he's probably going to have to go pay for uh, uh, opinion. You know, I, I don't want to bring that up. Like, Tell us, VSOs, if we need to go buy medical evidence, tell us that and let us make the decision if we want to do that or not. Don't just assume that it's going to be an uncomfortable conversation because what's uncomfortable is us putting our claim in your hands and then we realize it's going to be denied because it will be. And you just wasted six more months of our life. I mean, we've already been doing, you know, engaged in this battle for 30 years we want to get in, get out. We don't, we, you know, we're, we're, we're big boys here. If we need medical evidence, just tell us that. But they don't. So now the veteran's asking, do I get the nexus before I go to my CNP exams? And as that is a strategy, really the best time is before you file the claim. So you file the claim without a nexus, got denied because you didn't have the nexus. Then you, you know, have the opportunity to file a supplemental claim and you file that without the nexus. And just like, if you have a VSO doing this for you, you can blame the VSO all you want. It's, it's still you. You hired them. You gave them the power of attorney to do whatever they want and they did whatever they want. So now here we are on our second supplemental claim. We already filed it. You could get the nexus and submit it and hope that it gets into your file. Uh, before the CMP exam, one or both of them, but that's not really how the system works. It's not really a roll as you go kind of deal. You submit it before you take your action and then you let it fly there. So most likely this claim is gonna get denied and since there was nothing that was actually new and relevant, you're gonna need to file another supplemental and include the Nexus this time. So the big question here is, should I withdraw these claims? This is up to you. The, the VA is kind of a weird, retarded, um, <laughs> gigantic machine. You throw in things that they're not used to, you might short circuit them more than they already are. You've been dealing with the VA, you know what I'm talking about. So what would I do in this case? I would withdraw these claims. I already can see that I'm just gonna be wasting six more months of my life, tick tock. I mean, I, I'm not gonna live forever. I'd withdraw these claims, make sure they get squished, and then file another supplemental and include the nexus. That's what I would do. You can withdraw a claim anytime you want. If you see a VSO doing something squirrely like this, make sure you revoke their power of attorney first and foremost, because if you don't do that, you could be doing things or think you're doing things and your VSO's over there still has POA 
uh, over you. So they can still, you know, act on your behalf whether you actually want them to or not. So make sure you get the VSO out of there or anybody that has a power of attorney over you. Make sure it's just you so you don't have multiple people in here doing different things. If you want to learn more about the VA claims process, check out my boot camp at combatcraig.com. And if you need medical evidence, this is a perfect example of where you would need it, need a nexus, uh, contact my med team. There's an email address in the description. And I'll see you in the next video.